Hey, what's up you guys? We are back with another video, but before we get into the video, I do want to announce the winner from the haul that I did. To work with it. Drop a lemon below if you have made it this far because I will be giving away the Poly Joe kit that I did in my Amazon video. So if some of y'all caught it and some of y'all did not catch it, but I sometimes put little surprises in the middle or the end or sometimes the beginning of my videos. So it just, you have to watch the videos to know when I'm going to have a giveaway because I do random ones. Um, and yeah, this was a random one that I did and Risa Neal was the winner. So please message me on Instagram. My Instagram is always in the description box or you can email me and my email is always in the description box, but please hit me up so I can send you your, um, poly gel kit the one that i tried out that is going to you so congratulations to you and i know she always comments on pretty much all my videos so kudos to you girl but um yeah you guys so make sure that y'all pay attention throughout my videos because i'm like giveaway queen like i love doing giveaways honestly so <laughs> um and i'm always buying stuff y'all like i'm always buying stuff and a lot of the stuff i really don't need or i feel like that i probably won't use again and i just test it out that one time for you all and i barely use any of it so i just feel like why not give it to y'all so yes she is the winner and we only have you guys y'all we only have 75 i think i'm at 425 subscribers so we have 75 more subscribers until the 500 giveaway and that's gonna be a big box like y'all know i always do my actual like subscriber um threshold giveaways i always do like 50 or 80 80 to 100 dollar box giveaways so y'all need to stay tuned for that because it's literally right around the corner like i'll probably be at 500 by the end of this week or the end of next week i put money on it but anyway you guys so this video i actually was not even gonna post like isn't that crazy but i posted it on um Facebook no not Facebook. well yeah I did post it on Facebook I posted on Facebook and I posted it on my Instagram and um there's another girl up here who always comments on my posts and she follows me on Instagram as well and she was like girl post it so I was like you know what I am gonna post it I think it's April so shout out to April because you gave me the encouragement to post this girl <laughs> but um here I am using eye gel beauty now I will link the video of my eye gel beauty um my eye gel beauty haul that I did well it wasn't really a haul it was more of a review it was swatches on all the eye gel beauty acrylics that are buttery that work well and that do not marble because as y'all know or maybe you don't know eye gel beauty is known for acrylics that dry super super fast acrylics that marble really really bad but they are the same price as the dynamic nail supply acrylics they're only like six dollars they're six dollars for really big bottles the bottles are actually the containers are actually bigger than dynamic nail supply um and they're around the same price so if y'all want to check them out i am definitely going to link the video for um that haul or that swatch that i did i did like i don't even know how many acrylics i did but i did a lot of swatches of their acrylics um and y'all can go check that out but make sure that you buy those acrylics and not the other ones because the other ones they do marble the ones in my video are the ones that do not marble so that is what i was using in the black and as y'all saw it laid like butter like i had no issues laying it when you first get if you're a beginner and you're just getting eye gel, just keep in the back of your head that they do set a little quicker. However, um, the temperature in my room was a bit on the colder side and I was using dynamic nail supply uh, monomer with these acrylics. So it was not setting fast on me at all. Um, I was able to work with it it was very easy for me to work with so i had no issues with my eye gel beauty now this 
colored acrylic the glitter one is from dynamic nail supply i believe this one is the name of it is pi 900 if i'm not mistaken and i will also link that um up here for you all to view that video i've had i had i've had like three hauls of dynamic nail supply so far I've had three, but in one of the videos, I swatched a lot of acrylics, like a lot of them. Um, well, in all the videos, I swatched acrylics, but in this one, in the second one, I think it's the second one, where it's um, named $6 acrylics, I believe that this acrylic right here was in that. So I will um, link that for you all. And be sure to go check that out because y'all, I highly recommend Dynamic Nail Supply acrylics and y'all know if you have not if you are not new to my channel you do know this if you are new y'all like i swear their acrylics are so nice now i do always have trouble applying glitter acrylics but that is just my own error because i don't know what i'll be doing y'all like i just always pick up so it's like so much glitter like so much glitter on my brush but anyway, I actually gave this brush a third try. I am also using the Dynamic Nail Supply uh, brush. And you guys, I had no issues. There was no acrylic getting stuck in my brush. There, Like none of that. So I just think I had to break the brush in because you know when you switch brushes, you just have to get used to it. So this was my third try on the brush and it was working for me. It was fine. I cleaned it. It, it was fine. Like, um, y'all need to, I will link that in the description box too. Y'all need to get the brush cleaner that I use because I promise you, even if your brush is a little raggedy towards the end of you doing a set, when you clean it out with the monomer and then you put it in this, the cleaner that I have, it's almost like oil. It feels like oil, but I really don't know what it is, but it's this brush cleaner that I got off Amazon. And y'all, when I say it works wonders, it works wonders. It brings my brush back to life. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that. And I will definitely link that in the description box for y'all if y'all want to go check that out or purchase it. Um, but yeah, this set was off the top of my head. I had no inspo. I really was just doing whatever. Right here, I am taking my five and one bit and I am just uh um tidying up the cuticle area. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm it's six in the morning and I'm making this video like I've been up literally all day. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but I was like, let me get this video up before I go to sleep. So yeah, I am cleaning up the cuticles and the cuticle area. And um, I'm just doing that with my 5-in-1 bit. I am not taking my 5-in-1 bit down the bed of my nail or um, the whole nail because it did not need it. Uh, I laid the acrylic pretty evenly. So I rarely do that anymore i really don't do that anymore I, I don't even need it to debulk anymore most of the time um but what i do is i take a 80 80 grit file and i file across the nail which you will see in the next part of this video and um yeah so that's what i do i kept this in um in real time because i wanted y'all to see just you know how i use the five and one bit which i also recommend i'll link that down below for y'all too <laughs> if you want to go purchase that because i highly 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 recommend that uh bit if you don't have any other bit you need this bit you need the cuticle ball bit and you also need your you know just your um what is that the carbide i don't i don't want to mistake that name but i think the carbide one which one is the one that you put your sand band on but anyway you need those three for sure for sure if you don't got nothing else you need those three because this one is perfect perfect for filing your cuticle area like it, it's perfect but here we are taking the 80 80 grit and we are taking this and if okay so the way that you know if your nail is um, not flat, but if your nail is even, everything is going to get white. Like if you have spots of seeing the acrylic and then you see white, it, your nail is not even. To know that your nail is even, you're going to see white all across the nail. That's telling you that your file is getting everything at once, which means it's even. So 
um yeah so that's what I did right there and I'm just evening everything out and yeah I um I end up doing this crazy like I don't even know where I got these designs on each finger from it I really was supposed to keep it simple and I don't know how to keep stuff simple so that's why it looks so extra it really wasn't supposed to be extra y'all it was supposed to be the color blocking which is on the pointer finger and the pinky two black uh, fingers in the middle and that's really all I was gonna do I was trying to keep it simple I was gonna put the little I don't know what you call them the little spikes I was gonna put the spikes on the middle finger and the ring finger and that was gonna be it you guys like that was gonna be it I was gonna do the little marble at the bottom put the spikes on and let that be it but no 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 Lisa has to go and be a stream and be extra with everything that she does why I don't know but I try to stop myself I be trying to stop myself y'all and my hand just keeps going and I just I don't know I don't know I'm one day I keep saying this but I promise y'all one day I'm going to do the most simple set I'm not gonna put no designs on it I'm not gonna do none of that y'all <laughs> Right here, I was just um, cleaning under the nail. Make sure y'all are cleaning under the nail after you're done. You do not want your client walking away and her looking under her, her or him, looking under their nails and they have dried acrylic under it. Like that is such a pet peeve that I used to have when I got my nails done that I just can't, I can't let my clients go out like that when I do get some and i just i can't let y'all go out like that and i can't let y'all y'all do y'all clients and have y'all clients going out like that so make sure y'all are filing underneath the nail make sure there is no acrylic underneath because that happens sometimes y'all that happens sometimes like sometimes you get a little acrylic stuck on the side you just gotta clean it up for them before they even notice it so make sure y'all are doing that um, right here, I was just making sure everything was even. I took this other little razzle-dazzle thing from Shein. I am using Candy Cane and Perfect White from Madam Glam. I also have a code if y'all want 30% off. Y'all can go on my uh, description box and use that code. I will also link the code right here for y'all. But um, yeah, so I'm using the Perfect White and I'm using the new color that I got, Candy Cane, which I really, really wanted to try out because it was super pretty when I swatched it. If y'all have not seen the video, I'm gonna link that above as well. Y'all, I don't know why I'm so hyper right now. I think it's because I just had a cup of coffee, but I've literally been up since yesterday 10 o'clock so I've almost been up almost 24 hours and I'm really rambling on uh YouTube right now well technically I'm rambling to myself right now and then I'll be rambling on YouTube but anyway okay so here we are doing the little stamp method and this did not turn out how I wanted it to but I kept it going what I really wanted it to do was this video that I seen on Instagram yesterday. And y'all, I think, I don't know what Instagram be doing, but Instagram got some uh, real gurus out there because what I try, to, I try to imitate what they be doing and it don't be coming out like how they, uh, videos be coming out. So somebody needs to teach me because this did not come out how that girl's, uh, french cut came out the little frenchie came out but anyway i fixed it up you know i did what i could do and it came out cute it still came out cute <laughs> are y'all sick of me yet but no um so i did this little marble my the this finger to the right was so pretty like isn't that so pretty you guys like i wanted to stay just like that i didn't even want to do anything to it to mess it up because y'all know i i have an issue with with doing I concentrate too much and I overthink stuff so sometimes like when I overthink I do too much and I end up messing something that didn't even need to be messed with I end up messing it up so yeah I was trying not to mess it up here and I just went ahead and I made my little my little Frenchie real quick and let that be that left it alone and then I went on to the next one did a little Frenchie left that alone brought it up a little bit and boom that was it i cleaned the sides off a little bit and yeah so um i did that and i filled it in i was filling it in right here because 
um the marble wasn't like complete in some spots but that worked out well i wish it would have done what i wanted to do because really i could have just did that on my own without that little stamper but i wanted to try it out because i see other people using it on instagram so i had to be extra and try it out but here i'm just putting nail glue now you guys if I am doing somebody else's nails or if I am doing my nails, I will never, ever, ever, ever use nail glue. Like I do know that some techs use nail glue to put their rhinestones on and some techs use super glue, but baby, I just don't feel um, confident or secure doing that because I, I just don't like, I'm scared that they're going to come off. Maybe I'll test it out on myself one day, but I just use nail glue for video purposes because I know that these are going to go right into a Lysol can. <laughs> I pop these off and I take these off my mannequin and they go right into a Lysol can. I have a, I have this Lysol can. You know how you take the little, um, you have the little wipes, the disinfectant wipes. So I use all of those and I ended up using that. I use that for a storage for all my practice nails. And one day I'm just going to do like this little, uh, I'm going to pick some out and I'm going to recreate some that were in there. I think that would be fun for a video, like then versus now and see like, you know, my progression or whatever. So anyways, back to what I was saying, I use McCart glue, you guys. I use McCart rhinestone glue. That glue is the truth. As y'all can see, the stones on my hand that y'all are looking at right now as I'm doing these nails are still on. And when did I do that video? Like almost three weeks ago, you guys. It's been a minute. So yeah, McCart rhinestone glue is my ride or die. I'm not switching on it no time soon. I am, however, gonna try the dynamic nail supply glue someday. When I Probably when I take these nails off, I'll try that glue out because I did purchase some rhinestone glue for them. So they in competition with my McCart glue right now because McCart is the, excuse me, the only people are the only glue that I'm gonna stick by. That's the only glue I'm gonna stick by for right now because there's nothing else that has came through like the McCart glue. So anyway, let me get off McCart because they don't sponsor me. So, um, <laughs> I have to chill. Oh, I have to chill. I'm tired, you guys. I really need to go to sleep, like, for real. That's why I'm being so loud and so crazy, because I'm tired. But anyway, so I am taking the same colors, Candy Cane and Perfect White from Madam Glam. Again, that code is going to be in the description box if y'all do want 30% off of your purchase. It's off the entire site, so go ahead and buy something, girl. And make sure you put my code in. But um, I am taking that, and I'm just making... This was random, too. Like, I don't know where I was getting these ideas from, y'all. Like, I was watching Grey's Anatomy this whole time I was doing the nails. That's why they took me so long, because I'm sitting there going back and forth to the TV. But I'm just taking the colors and I'm pretty much just doing like this slight marbleish design. I'm really just the winging it. And um, I'm just dipping it in the paint or dipping it in the gel polish and with a really thin brush and just going lightly over it. I did put blooming gel down first now, when you are using blooming gel, you put the blooming gel down like this. You do not cure. Before you cure, that is when you will go in with your gel polish like this on the wet blooming gel. And it's just going to disperse and you'll see it spread a little bit. Do not hold it too long without curing because it will keep spreading if you have a lot of blooming gel. Put thin coats of the blooming gel down when you are doing this so that it does not do that. Um... And yeah, I was just adding a little more purple to it, a little more of the candy cane color because I wanted it to have a little more color to it. It was looking real white and pinkish. So I just wanted to add a little more dimension and color to it. And that was it pretty much for that whole marble look on the top of my nail. And um, y'all right here is when I should have been done. I should have been done. I should have top coated the nails with clear I mean yeah with a clear coat clear glossy top coat and that should have been it I could have even did matte I think matte would have looked really pretty on these nails had I left it alone or I could have even left it like that with that one heart 
But no, y'all, no. I don't know how to just leave and be done. Like, I don't know. I'm toxic. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm toxic. I'm toxic. I'm toxic with everything. I'm toxic with people. I'm toxic with uh, my nails. Like... <laughs> But no, yeah, I couldn't, I, I don't know what I was doing. I, at this point, I was just doing over the top stuff, like stuff that did not need to be done. So anyway, we're going to still explain because obviously I went through with it. So I made little hearts. I made them upside down, sideways, whichever way. And then I end up connecting them just with some lines. And I don't know if I was like making vine lines or what y'all honest to God, this, <laughs> this video is so like wacko because y'all I'm really just, I really just winged this whole set. Like, I don't know what I was doing. I was just drawing like whatever came to mind. I was putting on the nail. So then I just looked, I didn't like how the hearts just looked like there. So I was like, maybe they'll look cute if I connect them. So that's what I did. And they ended up coming out kind of cute. I kind of liked it. So I did leave it like that. And I went ahead and I cured that. And after that, I was like, hmm, I'm looking at them like this right here. And I'm thinking to myself, should I put something on that blank nail? Because now it just looks a little odd. Or did it look okay to y'all? When when do y'all think that I should stop? Y'all let me know down below if y'all think I should have stopped before I drew those hearts. Or if you like the design, how it came out. Please let me know down below because I'm still fighting with myself over this. Like, should I have stopped? Or should I have kept going? Like, did I? I don't know. My flower was not the best. Now, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I don't know how to do 3D flowers, y'all. This was my first time doing 3D flowers and this is how it came out. I am so sorry that it cut off, but my phone kept overheating and it kept, for one, it kept overheating. And two, it did not, uh, I don't have no storage on my phone. So I had to delete so much stuff just to go back and record all this. But anyway, you guys, this is how it came out. I hope you all liked it. I kind of skipped the part with the pearls, but yes, I added the pearls and I thought they were so, so, so cute. But y'all, let me know down below what you want to see next and I will see y'all later. Bye.